If you have brown eyes, this jewel tone is gonna make your eyes pop. Today, we're gonna get this look, this ruby jewel tone eye look that is so spectacular on all tones of brown eyes, whether you have amber eyes, light brown eyes, super dark brown eyes, this tone is incredible. It brings out all of the little flecks of brown in your eye, even if you have hazel eyes, if you have little flecks of green and amber in your eyes, oh, it looks so stunning. Now, so many of you guys say, no, I will not wear red, but just hear me out. Hear me out, okay? This ruby burgundy tone is incredible. We're gonna get it today and it's gonna be easy, okay? Let's do it together. Bonus eye color, if you have heterochromia and you have multiple colors in your eye, red also looks stunning. Now you can wear it more coppery like this or you can wear it deep and burgundy or true red as well. Anything will work because you have so many amazing complimentary tones in your eyes, red's gonna look great. All right, let's get to it. This look can feel super complicated, but it's literally not, okay? We're gonna use three products. Four if you include mascara, okay? Which, let's not get too technical, okay, people? Come on, give me a break here. All right, so let's start out with a black eyeliner. Now I have to work quick because this burgundy reddish pigment is going to dry on the back of my hand. All right, so we're gonna take my little dull black eyeliner. All right, focus, all right. And I'm going to just trace along my lash line, okay? Trace, trace, trace. I'm getting as close to my lashes as possible. It's okay if your line looks ugly, it's fine. Just slap it on because we're going to blend it out anyways, okay? Take a little tiny brush or whatever it is that you can blend out with and blend. Now I'm gonna blend everywhere because this eyeliner blends so far nearly there nearly there just make sure that you blend fast enough so that your eyeliner doesn't dry weird and patchy in places okay you don't have to do the eye line but in the picture she has quite a dark like lash line and then yeah it goes more red dang give me a break okay all right, I'm gonna just blend that black everywhere. Like I said, just so it doesn't look patchy and so it's kind of like an even little base for us, okay? Now, the fun part. This is all we're gonna do with the eyeliner. If you want a tight line, you can do that now. I like to tight line before I put on anything on the bottom. That way it just all meshes well with your lashes. So you won't have this big white line. I like the white line, whatever. Okay, you know I love this brush. This little flat brush. All right, here's my little pigment. Oh no, it's dry. Break. Oh, it's dry. Oh God. Reactivation? Possible. I think we're good. I think we're good. Crap. That's okay, let's just try it. It's on there. Let's just try it, okay? Oof. How beautiful. All right, now it will feel wet on your eye. It's okay. It's a very thick consistency when you mix it with water. I just mix mine with like a Fix Plus just because I have it and I don't have to go and like fill up a little tub with water, okay? Let me show you what this actually is. Hold on just a sec. A little goes a long way. You definitely don't need this much, but that's what I used and it's all good, okay? You can already see, look at my eyes. They just go poppity pop when I put this color on. So this color is amazing for literally anybody. I would say probably other than blue eyes. Blue eyes, you might not like this color as much, but I do a lot of stuff for blue eyes. So I think you have a lot of options anyways. So 1000% brown eyes. Okay, brown eyes, you can wear these reddy, burgundy, purpley tones so, so well. Your eyes just make this color just look amazing, okay? And of course, green eyes, warm green eyes or cool green eyes and blue green eyes, amazing. And hazel eyes, of course, duh. It's on, <laughs> my eyes are glowing. Literally, I'm just taking a little fluffy brush 
and just blending out just this part. Now it's already like stuck to my eye. It's not really gonna move, but if I can just kind of just wiggle that pigment just a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh and round, then I'm happy, that's fine with me. Okay? You do not have to go this intense. You don't have to go underneath. You don't have to go this thick. I have very large, deep set eyes. I can handle a lot more shadow on my eyes than a smaller eye can, okay? So I can do a lot of shadow. I have a lot of space. If you don't have this much space, keep it just in the corner. Keep it in the corner. Keep this line on the bottom very, very thin. It will still look stunning. It will still give you the same uh, just magnifying effect. Just ignite those eyes and make them pop. It will still give you that look. Let me show you what it is. This is a loose pigment. This is from MAC. It's very old. I think the date is actually that it was made in 2017. A little bit old. Um, but it's amazing. It's called Heritage Rouge. I don't know if you can still buy this, but what I do is I just put some in the cap and then I spray some Fix Plus. Usually that creates a paste-like consistency like this. Okay, look, this, this is not gonna move. This is like a wet paint shadow, okay? I like to do that rather than use it as a loose pigment because the loose pigment goes everywhere. I even just made a mess just then. So that's very easy. Now, if you don't have something like that, whoop, sorry, like a loose pigment, that's fine. It's fine. Any eyeshadow will work as well. Like this really old one as well from the Tamana palette. This sangria color. I'm actually going to put that over my eye just in the center just to give it a pop as well. Anything will work. I put on my mascara on this side. So you can do tons of mascara. You don't have to do tons of mascara. Hold on, wait. Let me fix this. Now you can really see like what the color does. Okay. I don't know if that looks better for you. I think it's literally so gorgeous, okay? And then just take a little fluffy brush. I'm going to take that sangria color. See, it's a bit brighter. It's a little bit more red. And I'm going to place it just here, right in the middle. Take a little bit more, just on the tip and just put it right under here. If you're only going halfway, only put it halfway. So simple, so simple. And then you can take your little brush again and just blend it out if you need to, okay? That's it. I think I put more on this side than I did on this side, but I like it. So let's just do it over here. But the color looks amazing. Look at what it makes my eyes look like. Holy doodle. It looks literally stunning. So this will work on brown eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes, blue green eyes, probably gray eyes as well. But you're a little bit more cooler toned. So totally up to you if you want to try this ruby eye sort of look. I want to add some blush as well because I haven't yet. Let's do Rose from Bobbi Brown because it has a similar kind of undertone, that little reddy undertone to it. So let's just place a little bit here, not too, too much. <laughs> I look very red at the moment. This is what happens when I do my makeup in the afternoon light. Then when you guys see me every single day, I am, it's morning. It is seven in the morning every single day. And the light looks much better. But this is, this is it, baby. This is the life, okay? Just pat that in. I love it. I, this is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. And you will know, if you've been following me since the dawn of time, I've used this color probably, I would say, over 10 times in 10 different scenarios in videos. And it is always stunning. Absolutely always stunning. Do you see how it makes my eyes look 20 times more green? Freaking amazing. I'm gonna just add a little bit of powder blush as well just to kind of make it stick. Don't 
Don't have to do that, but look. Look at the color. Look at the freaking color. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it makes your eyes glow. Literally makes your eyes glow. Let's do a little closey uppy. Absolutely stunning color. Again, this is what it looks like. You can, well, I don't know if you can get this color anymore, but I'm sure you can. Heritage Rouge, and then just a oh, whatever ready sort of burgundy color. I think that this type of red looks the best on me, on my eye color. Some people look best with like a cherry red, like the Azuki red that we use from Shiseido. I think honestly they're all worth a try because a lot of people say they don't like wearing red and I can definitely understand that, but a hint of red, a little tiny hint of red will change your life. I'm telling you, you will have a whole new appreciation for wearing red and you will see your eyes as well in a different light. You'll be like, my eyes are beautiful. My eyes are stunning. They're my best feature. I love them. I love wearing this color. And maybe even you'll incorporate that into your clothes. I don't know. I wear black or dark navy blue every single day, so I never have color. But that's okay, because I can wear it on my face. Okay, if you have brown eyes and you try this look, please let me know. If you have blue, green, gray, heterochromia, anybody else, if you try this look, please, please let me know. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was easy enough, and thank you for listening to my thoughts. Enjoy.